Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my episodes. As you guys requested, you guys wanted me to do the fire. I guess the last episode that I did. Uh, Engine. Too much talking, right? Vehicle fire. <laughs> there. All right, so we already fire. got to run. Why Box I can't zero, get in the truck? One, zero, five. Address is oh, come on. I want to get in this truck. It's okay. We got. We actually got an engine call. It's for vehicle fire. And... We, as you can see on the truck, is engine 229, but I haven't been able to change the engine number yet. Or I will have to re retexture the whole truck. But right now, we're gonna start with our first run. As you guys requested, as I was saying earlier, I got cut off by the first run. Um, you guys requested for me to do firefighter and stuff like that because my last video, I think, is up to like 40,000 views already. And I was waiting for this mod is by Gangrene, of course. That was actually the guy that introduced me to LCPDFR. I remember seeing his first video. I think it was about four to five years ago. Seeing his first video, that's how I got into LCPDFR. Got introduced to it and never stopped since then. He always have, I think, definitely, he definitely described more, way more subscribers than me because he, he the one that introduced me to this anyway. But right now, we're going for our first run. Uh, it's a vehicle on fire, and we already show ourselves. Okay, I think we're on the. Oh, we here. We're on the scene already. Okay, we got this car on fire. We could just use our hose right here. All right, I think that's good enough. Damn, I'm trying to remember how to. Okay, I'm using the 360 controller, so it's kind of different. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. Is that it? Oh, I might have to use my fire extinguisher to actually. All right, I think that should be good. Just making sure. All right, so most likely when we're done with um calls Engine like that. Thirty-five to Manhattan. Show me on scene. Oh, I've been on scene, man. Come on, what the hell? But this is automatic. It actually show you on scene. You don't have to press any button to show yourself on scene or anything like that. All right, so we're just going to open the trunk just to make this a little bit more realistic. Check the engine, see if anything else is not on fire, and we're going to tow this car. Yeah, the car looked good. It didn't get burned all the way. Like, if we made it over here late, the car would have blow up, and, you know, you know what happened after that. Fire is under control. Yep, we got the fire under control. Station and available for calls. I actually have to press control. So when you press control, it actually show that you back on in service, whatever, and available. Oh, come on. Why can't get in my truck? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so by pressing control, you know, you put yourself back and in service. Basically, it's like for the firefighter, you probably AQing yourself for most people that know about stuff like that. All right, so we just AQ ourselves. So we there's a possibility that we might receive a run before we get back to the um, firehouse and one other thing is that um firehouse are not like police officers you have to follow every um i guess the road i guess the traffic rules and stuff like that because if you don't have a run you just have to drive regular as if you're driving your regular car or regular truck or whatever you have to follow every rules of the roads until you get back to the house unless you gotta run if you gotta run no rules don't apply to you you gotta get there all right, so we're just cruising. Um, I'm relocating myself to another house right now. Until, let me see. Which house should I go to? Um, oh, we got a call? Manhattan announcing a medical run. Oh, we got a medical run. I was just re relocating myself to another house, but we got to run before we actually leave this area. So let's turn on the light. We got to go. We got somebody that need our help. It's either most calls like that, the firefighter still goes go to it until the um, paramedic get there or whatever. So right now we got a medical run, and it is for our engine, first alarm, whatever. Denver Avenue. That's like right there in the building. Okay. Um, yeah, most firefighter they usually go for every run. I guess some. If you get there, the paramedic is already there, okay, they good, you could just leave. But if you are the first person to actually show up for the run or whatever, you have to stay there and make sure the whoever's hurt or who, whatever, to get the proper equipment, contact the... Alright, so 
I'm gonna call the um you know what? Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Let's check the status of whatever whoever that got hurt. I don't know if they had a heart attack, whatever whatever's wrong with them, you have to get to you have to get there. We're gonna call the paramedic. Depend on the patient, um, I guess whoever's um vital or status, if they didn't die yet, you know what to call the corner or whatever. So we're just gonna check they Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check the vital right now. All right, damn, I thought he was gonna be like on the top, on top of the building. Oh, wrong way. Damn, wrong way. Cancel. All right, turn this way. Yeah, facing. All right, so we're gonna check the vital. Oh, they are in critical condition. So we're gonna try to treat them before the medic get here. All right, get up, man, get up. I'm trying to make myself get. Wait, oh, I gotta press three. I almost forgot about that. All right, I'm calling the medic by pressing one right now. And we're gonna try to treat them because they are in critical. Why three is not working for me? All right, we're gonna try to treat them. And as soon as my character actually get up. Okay, there you go. All right, so we're gonna try to treat them until um the, um the medic actually get here and so then it's gonna be their job to actually take them if they need all help to actually carry the patient down to uh, i mean with a stretcher or whatever we could actually stay and help them out but most likely they telling us to go get the stretcher right now i'm waiting until the medic yeah they are coming most likely i think they got it because um the firefighter usually stay around i guess um, if there's, if, you know, there's only two medic that mostly show up to a location and they need to get the patient down or down the steps or whatever, but it looked like they got this guy right now. So we're just going to go back to our truck and continue with what I was going to do in the first place to relocate. <laughs> now the, I guess whoever that got hurt is on day hand right now. Should I get, you know what, no. I was gonna block, you know what, yeah, I have to press control to, yeah. Damn, it's gonna put, I was gonna get the stretcher for them, but by pressing control, this is like a third party, um, mod, I mean, script mod or whatever, but it actually put me back available. So while we upstairs, we might receive a run, so right now, let's just go back to, um, Go back to being in service and go back to, I guess, relocating because I'm going to my next location right now. All right, so let's get out of here, man. And as y'all can see, I have to follow the rules or whatever. It's not like playing LCPDF or you don't have to follow the roads. All right, so we're just cruising right now. We're just heading back to the next location, which is somewhere downtown or whatever. And yes, we have to follow the traffic rules since we don't have a run or anything like that until we get back to the firehouse. Oh, wow. Okay, as fire, uh, I know most firemen, like, let's say if you see something like that, you have to stop. Let's say we, we, are, we are gonna stop right here because we saw a disabled vehicle blocking traffic. People could end up getting hurt and definitely they're gonna call us back again because this is a <laughs> hazard or whatever. This car is gonna create accident as we just about to see right now. Yep, you see this car hitting it like he didn't freaking see it. All right, so we just checking the engine. Nothing's on fire. Getting it tow. Making it easier for us. And we are back in service. All right, as firemen, I I'm, I think they do the same job as ESU for I guess New York, except they don't handle you know the shooting shooting and stuff like that. But most emergency stuff as as far as saving somebody life and CPR, you know all those extra stuff. So all right, so I relocate myself and I'm trying to put myself available right now. All right, so we just put ourselves available until we receive another run. Um, we add engine 47, which I soon, maybe the next episode, I'm going to try to match up the, um, 
engine. We gotta run already. Residential structure oh, fire. Residential structure fire. All right. Yeah, Box it said at engine 35. All right. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, Game Green could allow us to change it next time. I don't know. Oh, I might have to switch all my um trucks to engine 35 or whatever. I don't know if it's gonna be that way. Or uh, um, cause I know he's. This is still in pro. Like he's still working on this mod. This is the the best. Like the greatest. Um, I guess firefighter mod I ever seen because it's it's. It's been working great so far for me. I've seen a lot of people complain about it, but I haven't had no problem, no crash. Certain things don't work, but you know, it's a mod in progress, and I know he's looking to make it even better by us reaching out to him. Let us, I guess, let him know whatever's wrong, whatever, instead of complaining or whatever. But right now, we just go into. Oh, damn, that was close. That was close. I almost hit that Lexus. All right, so most likely is a building fire. I don't see the building on fire though. All right. Oh yeah, you could. See. No, no, I can't see nothing yet. All right, so most likely I can't see anything. We was gonna use the truck if it was like a big fire from here, but um, from the truck I could actually pick up my um fire extinguisher. I have to pick up my gears too. All right, first we're gonna pick up um. Come on, what the hell? Okay, press C. Pick up my gears. Fire extinguisher. All right, so we going upstairs. There's supposed to. Oh, there's there's a fire on the first floor. So let's go. I'm just putting on my hat because I didn't get to pick it up. So you know you have to be in full gear when you find fire and shit. All right, so we are here. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we could actually take out the whole fire in this building. Alright, we got this. We got I could imagine playing this mod as um multiplayer. I know these guys that play I guess those multiplayer um gamers or whatever, how they gonna um do great with it. I mean this mod is gonna serve them well because I've seen other people do videos with stuff like that, but they didn't they didn't even have this mod yet. Imagine that they have this now. So right now we just I'm just checking every floor to see if the fire is really done. Like there's no more fire in this building. We're just going up all the way up to the roof. Alright. Okay, so the fire is clear. Alright, if I mean in case of serious um fires, you know the firemen have I guess the chief or the captain if they're around if it's something serious they have to make sure they get the electrician, the gas have to be shut down, you know, all those stuff, so Alright, we could see our truck down there. But it's not that serious for us. Um as this mod is limited, you know, if we had extra stuff like that. But you know, this is GTA four. We're trying to make it as realistic as we can. Whoa, whoa, you could, you could hear that? Okay, this sound like there's still a fire around here. Yeah, I don't think the fire, you know what, let's go to the back. You could, you, you see, every time I'm going up, you could hear the fire. I wish I could go in. You could hear that, right? I don't hear it anymore. But while I was going upstairs, I could hear it a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go to the back to see if there's still a fire probably around the building we might have to use our truck or whatever come on let's go around all right let's see how this is gonna turn out but i don't know it sounds like there's a oh you see damn i guess this is where the fire start damn what the hell all right so we're gonna turn on our extinguisher again just just when we thought we were done all right it's good that you have to check around like all right, the fire wasn't done all the way. Can I reach those? No, nah, I can't reach that last one. Damn, what the hell? Yeah, I can't reach it. I'm trying to reach, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go down the steps. I'm trying to reach it. And that little thing could spread out and burn out the whole building. Why I can't reach this little fire? Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> 
I even jumped for it. Okay, as you guys can see, we are done with this fire right now. Um, this is it. We're just gonna AQ ourselves to, I guess, to show this patch that we are available with this fire is clear. And we are going back Engine to Engine 35 to Manhattan. Fire is under control. Yes, we do Returning have it under to control. Station and available for calls. Thank you. All right, so we are returning to our station right now. I think I might relocate again. <laughs> I'm trying out all the station. At least I could see which one that I like, so we could make it like our main station. Cause I'm gonna start this series. I know you guys like it, and so we could just keep going with this, man. Once again, thank you for watching, guys. I'm glad you guys been enjoying this episode. All right, so I relocate myself. Oh shoot, damn, that was close. I almost got hit. Um, we actually this house actually have three. <laughs> three truck we have a ladder an engine and a battalion so we just putting ourselves available right now we're just gonna be the engine I will be the ladder soon and I'm gonna try probably oh. engine all right so we got a medical, medical run medical run engine 15 addresses Union Drive West all right so that's gonna be a quick run um in case the paramedic need our help we will help them but most likely we probably just, you know, show up, make sure the the person is okay, and go back to the station. As y'all can see, the box number. Ah, oh, that's good. Gangrene, man, you did a good job. I don't know if you live in New York or whatever, but this this is really close to what we have over here, man. This is like the the closest. I try FDLC. FDLC had. Oh, come on, truck! What the hell? FDLC did have everything, but it's not, I guess this is an improved version of FDLC. Um, I didn't want to call this FDLC again, because I know Gangrene wants his to be a little bit different. I don't know. Maybe, um, wait, where are they? Oh, okay, I thought we were here already. Yeah, um, I don't know, because um, Gangrene called his um, mod Firefighter, so... I might just put firefighter for the title for this um, episode, or maybe FDNY. They're just not to conflict it because the other guy mod is called FDLC. So, all right, so we we are um, almost there. We're just making sure we clear traffic before we actually, you know, you don't want to hurt nobody on the way to a freaking run. All right, so we're just making it over here right now. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, the person is right there on the floor. All right. Show me on scene. All right, so we are on scene right now. You know, we parking our truck, so we won't block traffic or anything like that. And let's try to help this person, man. We're gonna call the paramedic. Paramedic should be on the way. Okay, they are here already. Damn, that was fast. All right, so we are checking the victim. Um, damn. I wasn't leaning the right way. Alright, we, ch we checking the victim um, vital right now. I mean, they are here. You know what? Let's let them do their job. Alright, guys. You got it from here? Okay. I mean, even though most firemen, you know, they do know how to, like, bring somebody else back to life as far as CPR. Know what to do to actually save somebody's life, so... But the paramedics are here right now. We're just going to let them do their job. And we are going back to our firehouse, man. That was a quick run. All right, they got it. Yeah, he looked like he's going to save that patient. I mean, that freaked them. I don't know what's wrong Engine with them. They probably just drop on the floor or whatever. Returning to station and available for calls. Okay, so we are going back to the station, man. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. This is not like LCBF, or like I said before, no shooting, no anything like that. Just regular runs, man. All right, so we are back in the station, just waiting until we get another call. Most of the time, most firemen will just we got another medical run. Medical yeah, run. most firemen we just Engine you know you just it's it's your house. You treat the firehouse Denver as if it's Alden. your house because Emerald you could just Street. go there, relax, watch TV, do whatever you gotta do. As if is this is where you're gonna spend the next eight, twelve hour shift, whatever, or the whole I don't know, some work the whole day to the next, or some work a couple days 
until they have until they pass it on to the next person. But it just depends on your shift or whatever. For right now, we're just going for a medical run. Um, if the paramedic are not here again, you know, we just wait and you know treat the patient, making sure we take care of them before we leave the scene, and that's about it. All right. I always get a text why I'm like, <laughs> why I'm doing videos for y'all. All right, we just making it here. Why is, okay. Do we have to go through the back? I didn't see nobody on the floor or anything like that. Are we gonna have to go through the back? All right, so we here. Engine 15 to Manhattan. Show me on scene. All right, so I'm gonna pick up, you know what, trying to, the medic bag. All right, you know, just to make it more realistic. And where are they? Are they down here somewhere? No, they not. Are they up there? Don't tell me they're up there. We're gonna have to climb up there some kind of way. I hope not. All right, so let's go around, guys. Let's go around. I don't know if we have to climb all the way up there. Is any? Can we go in these these doors? Nope, we can't. Okay. Damn. Do we have to go all the way up there? That's, that's gonna be crazy. Damn, that should have been like a ladder run then. There's no access wait, wait, that door looked like it oh no it doesn't. There's no access to upstairs, so I just hope that victim is not all the way on top of the building that we have to call the ladder <laughs> to actually come rescue. Oh okay, there there they go, there they go. The victim is on the floor right here. All right, so we're gonna try to treat them while we call the medic. Oh, I forgot to drop the bag. I hope that doesn't glitch out the game. All right. Oh, she's stable. All right, so we're gonna call the medic. She's stable. She's ready to be moved right now. And yeah, I should have did that in the first place. <laughs> Let me treat them, you know. Until the medic get here. 60, 61 BPM, 62. Come on. At least we know they are stable and they could get out of here. And they probably have just a minor injury. All right, so they are ready to be moved until they get to the hospital or whatever. All right, what's, what's the medic? They sound like they were just coming. Damn, I didn't want to leave them and... Where are they? Oh, they here. <laughs> How the hell did he pass us? Okay. All right, I guess while we turn. All right, okay, so I have time right now, so we're just going back to the um, vehicle. Are they Okay, they all parked back here, so let's put the back back into a truck, and we're going to grab a stretcher from um, the vehicle because I didn't get to show you guys how that works, so we're just going to grab a stretcher from the vehicle, and let's go back to the patient. I mean, let's go back to the victim. The victim have minor injury right now, so they have plenty of time. That's why I actually went back and get the stretcher. You know, help them out a little bit. All right, lady, move out the way. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for him so I could get the patient. Whoa. That's actually cool. <laughs> what the hell? All right, get up, man. All right, so we're going to get the patient on the stretcher. Yep. Y'all didn't see that. Oh. All right, so we're gonna bring in, um, bring the patient to Dave. I mean, bring her to Dave vehicle. I guess help them out. You know, look how they walking all slow back there. Like we're making their life easier right now. We're making their job easier, cause that's their job right now. Man. They supposed to bring the stretcher back to the they freaking vehicle. All right, so we're gonna bring it back to. Oh, damn, my bad, my bad, guys, my bad. Come on. Okay, so I hope I'm doing it right by just bringing it and press. I think T or. Oh, something like that. No, damn, that's wrong. All right, it was not close enough. That's why I didn't put it in the truck. All right, I think that's close enough. Okay, there you go. All right, as you can see, the sus. I mean, I'm saying the suspect. I'm not playing LCPDFR. You see, I'm too used to LCPDFR, man. The victim is in the back of the um um ambulance truck right now, and they are good to go. So we helped them out, and we are going back in service, man. We did. A job and we are out of here.
Are they leaving too? Engine 15 to Manhattan. Returning to station and available for calls. <laughs> Gotta stop smoking that cheetah. Alright, so we are back in service and we might receive a run while we on in traffic or we might receive a run until we get back to the house. So let's just you know, we're just gonna be cruising around until we get back and hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. Oh Manhattan. Oh, we got a vehicle, vehicle fire. fire. Damn. Engine All right. 15. Let's Fox go for it. Zero one two five. Address is as y'all can see, it's non-stop. Just like for most firefighter, sometimes they could have an easy day. They just have the regular stuff that they have to do. The regular routine, as far as you know, going to building, gas leak, whatever. Or they could just have a bunch of run like all day. Just depends on what kind of day they could be having. All right, so right now we're just showing up to a vehicle fire. Oh, there you go, there you go. All right, we're showing up to a vehicle fire. Where is it? Oh. All right, I'm just gonna use that. Okay, I think it's clear now. So we're just gonna make sure that. Oh, what the hell? You see this guy? I'm blocking the way, man. What's wrong with you? Right, I'm blocking the way. Nobody should be passing through right now. I should use one of my cones and stuff. <laughs> what? It's not working right now? Aw, oh, damn. All right. I might have to reload the script. Engine 15 to Manhattan. Extinguish Show the fire? Yeah, I already, I already took out the fire, man. It's just checking out the car to see if everything's okay. And we are out of here. We're just going to put ourselves AQ. To oh, as I was saying. Fire is under control. Returning to station and available for calls. Okay, so we are back on, I guess, patrolling. <laughs> we are back in service. We are going back to the house. Uh, all these vehicles, man. They they were so impatient, just like every New Yorker's, man. Shit. Couldn't wait. Alright, so we are going back to the house until we get another run or whatever. I might, you know what? I might switch up a little bit. I'm going to switch up to the ladder. And because we've been doing a lot of calls with the engine already, so a bunch of you guys wanted me to use the ladder or whatever. So let me just switch up and get the ladder. Okay, as you guys can see, I just switch up to the ladder, and until we receive another one, we're gonna be using ladder 26 truck. <laughs> and I don't know, this truck is a little bit different though. Ladder. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drive Vehicle it good. Fire. Ladder 18. Cause it's, Box it's zero, much one, two, longer zero. and oh, damn, y'all didn't see that. Liberty um, lane. it's just like I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive this truck good. Cause it's a little bit longer than usual and we have to make wider turns and it's different. All right, we got our first run vehicle fire. So let's go for it again. We had a couple vehicle fires today, man. So let's go. Yeah, and this truck is a little bit different. As y'all can see, I have to make wider turn and I have it's I don't know. It's let's hope we can handle this truck by not crashing into everybody. You see I'm sewing now more now. And I'm making sure that everybody knows I'm coming because it takes a little bit longer to actually slow down with this truck too. Oh shit, oh shit. I hope nobody okay. That was a red light, so you know that's why I was trying to be careful. Oh damn, you see? It takes way longer to actually slow down with this truck all right so we're just getting to the location oh man is it in here yeah we're gonna have to turn in here yeah i'm gonna have to knock down this freaking back okay i got it okay i got it all right this vehicle's on fire we're not gonna let it blow oh it's so close to blowing up though let me get my extinguisher quickly come on guys move out the way get the extinguisher and let's run to the fire. Come on, guys, move out the way, man. This car is so close to blowing up, man. Ladder 18 to Manhattan. Show me and this scene. is so realistic because the engine for like a Turismo, like a Ferrari, like that, it's in the back. So that was kind of realistic, man. All right, that's good. Okay, the fire is clear. We just gonna check. Um, Damn, I can't check the back. Alright, so 
Ladder get a tow truck. Manhattan. And Fire is under control. We are back. Returning to station and available for calls. All right. Thank you. Okay, just putting my um, equipment back, and we are going back to um, service. <laughs> that ain't work. I thought I could have removed my um, my gears and stuff like that, but that ain't work. I just put it put it back on again. All right, damn, this truck is a man. I gotta learn how to drive this truck, man. Don't mind me. Okay, let's try not to hit that pole. Oh shit, damn. Um, y'all didn't see that. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> Bad driver. All right, so we back into the station. Drove crazy. I actually didn't get to try the ladder yet. So as y'all can see, it's different. The only thing, um, I guess because of the way the ladder, um, the truck was made, you cannot get on the ladder yet. I know. I bet, I mean, I'm just saying Gang Green probably have something in project for that. It's definitely in progress. As y'all can see, I can't get on yet. But sooner or later, we're going to be able to get on the ladder. And, you know, sooner or later, he's going to create more option to give, like, to actually use the ladder truck to actually get on top of a building or whatever. So let's put the ladder back. But I just wanted to show you guys that it actually worked and everything worked well with this. It's a great mod, definitely thank you to Gang Green for taking this time and creating this, man. Because, as you guys already know, to create a script take a long time and a lot of... Ladder! Alright, so we gotta run for a commercial... Fire. I'm, I'm saying commercial. <laughs> we gotta run for a commercial structure fire, so... Let's try to get to the location. And, you know what, while we doing, doing this last run, um... Shout out to Anton, um... Beha. Jerome 2589, um, Jeff Knife 109, Beast Monster 936, J Lawler. Don't mind my driving guy. Oh my god, everybody blocked me, really? Even the police car don't even acknowledge of me. Like, come on, dude. He didn't even stop. Alright. Um, Camille Boniquez, um, Brandon Brown, what's up, man? Um, Destin Rivera, Donovan, um, all good. Uh, Dr. Pen Pandemic. <laughs> I hope I say your name right. Justin Moore, what's up? Everybody is not moving out of my way, man. Especially the cops. What the hell? Justin Moore and um, JC Hall. And that was all the shout out for this episode. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this episode, man. Um, as y'all can see, we have other trucks on the way. <laughs> but we're going to make it before them. Alright, so let's try to cut through or whatever. It would have been fun to see a bunch of fire trucks trying to make it to the same location or whatever. But, um, I don't know if, I mean, that was just, uh, this is me just saying, I don't know if Gang Green gonna be watching this episode or whatever. But it would be good to have an option, just like we could press one to actually have the paramedic. You could actually make the paramedic show up as many times as you want, if your computer can actually handle it. It would be good to actually have an option like that to for other engine to actually show up with you. That would be that would be cool though. But right now we're just showing up to the location as they have a fire in the bowling area. Oh shit! Yes, it is. All right, so let's just park up and show me on scene. They have a fire inside a building. I hope it's not a big fire. Let's try to get there right now. You know what? Let me get my extinguisher and let's try to get inside a building and see what's going on. Oh, as y'all could hear, people's like a bunch of people start screaming already. All right, damn. They mean to pick up the gun. Ah, uh, oh my God. Back to LCBD <laughs> All right, I'm removing the weapon so these guys won't try to carry weapons. So, oh shoot. What would you do if you see something like that? Damn, we already got two dead. Freak them. Why are you guys still sitting now? All right. That's another thing that would be great to actually um, have an option to make everybody evacuate. Right now we don't have an option. I mean, this mod is still in progress, of course. That would be great to just tell everybody to evacuate. Just like, um, I think we have the option in LCP there for all. Alright, so we're going to try and take out the fire as fast as we can so it won't keep spreading out. And hopefully we got it. Guys, stay behind me. Stay behind me. I'm trying to run into the fire now. Stay behind me, guys. 
All right. As we're trying to take out this whole fire. Stay behind me, guys. Aw, oh, damn. What the hell? Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Why is he carrying the extinguisher like that? I think because I actually, I actually changed this uh, weapon or something like that. All right. We clean out the fire. All right. Damn. Okay, good job. Good job. We got just a little bit more left. Oh, it cleared out. Okay. Good job, guys. For staying behind me. Shoot. <laughs> okay, so it looked like we did a good job. Um, We cleared out the fire, the bowling room, and it's so funny that these people are still sitting down, drinking their coffee. This guy trying to run out. Too late now, man. The fire is already under control. All right. It looked like that's about it, man. Ladder 18 to Manhattan fire is under control. Thank you. Returning to station and available. Um, I didn't even see the, the bodies that was there anymore. So that's why I didn't even have to call the corner or anything like that. But guys, um, it's been great. Hopefully you guys going to enjoy this episode. Um, I'm going to start with this. I mean, I'm going to try to do this more often now because my last episode I did it. And I know a bunch of you guys was requesting for more and more and more. So. As you guys know, I was waiting for this mod by Gang Green, and he actually put it out. So <laughs> this is me playing with this. Yeah, imagine if we the fire was like on top of the bed, and like we would have been able to go up on top and all that stuff. Yeah. As I was saying, as I'm playing with this, oh what the hell? Why did it give me this view? <laughs> okay. But guys, um, we're gonna get out of here. Um. Remember to click on that like button if you want me to keep going with that series. I know this is not LCPF. Well, this is something different. But guys, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time.